Hey guys, everybody, get ready to hear back on this Madden 23 Giants franchise, and they've taken on the Cowboys week one of the season, uh, so that's fun. First three weeks of the season are all at home, uh, then we get to go away to take on the Rams, so yeah, anyways, yeah, let's just get into it without further ado, let's go. Alright, here we go from Today, MetLife Stadium, East Rutherford, New Jersey, Jersey. there's Coach Dayball. We don't like the Cowboys. Alright, here we are though, chilling in the uh, throwbacks because they're clean and, you know, at this point they're just the primary jerseys. Um, look how good we look. There's Baker just balled out in real life. Uh, oh, Dak Prescott. I forgot. I keep forgetting they don't, they don't have Dak Prescott here in the franchise, so. I don't, I, I don't even know who their quarterback is. This is like a rookie. But, um,. Yeah, it's we're just gonna win, York dominate, Giants. get another Taking win, and then go go to week number two against the the was it the Panthers I think? The uh, no, it might be the Broncos. I don't know. Here we go. There's um, there's Coach Dave Ball. Yeah, Baker in the background now. Today, Baker again is throwing that scary Terry McLaurin. We got a good receiving core, even better Giants. than last year. Now, uh, 99 overall, Terry McLaurin. He's got 99 catch, 96 speed. And there's the Cowboys quarterback. I don't, I forgot his name because I don't even know if he exists. Really. Uh, Richie gonna be on for the return here. So here we go. Let's get it going, baby. We are underway from MetLife. We could be seeing one of these teams earn the Lombardi Trophy in February. And that's all the way up to the 30 for Richie, and that'll bring out Baker. There he is. Rating MVP, 88 overall, 97 throw power. Medium accuracy, 97, 81. Awareness. Defending two-time MVP right there. Baker Mayfield, single-season passing touchdown record holder. Best quarterback in the NFL. Houston looking to end that losing streak. They've not won since week one of the 2023 season. Oh, that, that was a horrible run. I missed that big time there. It says we got a yard, but we didn't throw a yard. So. I don't know. Well, yeah, let's go. <coughs> Gosh. All right, here we go, Baker. With that superstar ability now. Yep, throw it over to Saquon. Gets first down. Exactly 10 yards there. All right, here we go. On the, on the Ross St. Brown. They go play action. Mayfield. You're going to go to Daniel Bellinger first throw of the season. He doesn't get very many receptions. Here he is, though. Getting reception. Another nice gain. 16 yards there and a first down again. Take that. Up the middle with Barkley. Saquon gets two yards there. Second and eight. Now, Saquon. Why is Saquon lining up for receiver? All right, here we go. Oh, oh my gosh! Under pressure. And and for a second, I thought it was just a bad throw. But then I was like, well, think about it. Oh, he's just under pressure, and he was just under pressure. Baker got his man, Sterling Shepard. Gonna strike first for us this season. Sterling Shepard, 41 yards. Baker finding his former college teammate for six. That is a giant touchdown. Justin Tucker, he's back uh, kicking stuff for us. Jalen Hurts back at the uh, backup spot. Here we go. Back underway from MetLife. That'll be a touchback. And now and this is Dallas quarterback, whoever it is. I don't know his name. Let's see. Touchback. What's his name? So Andy Dolph. 
Uh, Colton Snell, 72 overall, 90 throw power. It's his debut. He's gonna have a rough debut. So Jack Prescott went to the Jaguars, and the Jaguars just completely dumped Trevor Lawrence. Well, he's he's their backup, but but you know they said freak Trevor Lawrence. We don't, we don't freaking need him. And then they they, they just got they could pretty much you know Baker Mayfield situation him. Um, Ezekiel Elliott gets a gain of six there. He knows Running back in the NFL. So we'll see how the passing game is for him with this through Colton Snell. Is that his name? I forgot his name. He, okay, Zeke. Yeah, Zeke's just going to freaking, I guess, do, do all the work today. <laughs> There's a snap. A drop back throws. You can't let Schultz be that open. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten. As they've got things rolling on this drive. Oh, crap. <laughs> this is Lamb on the end. Oh, C.D. Lamb. Okay, this is ridiculous. <laughs> that one good for ten yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few Let's please not do this all game long, guys. Come on. Get it on the option. Oh, a nice tackle from Alonzo Ramsey, the second year man who got robbed of a rookie of the year. Here we go. Snell with the snap. It's another handoff. Can we freaking stop him? Thank you. Alonzo Ramsey with the tackle. We still are losing to Washington. Caleb Williams threw for 347 yards. There's a snap. Snell's going to get it. Brought down by Alonzo Ramsey again. Why does it say his one tackle? He's like three now. <laughs> there we go. Oh, white right, running back. I mean, is Christian McCaffrey. Wow. Red is keys. 36. Here's the snap. Gonna throw. That's gonna be caught. Didn't get it. Fourth and one. And they are gonna go for it. Make sure everybody's covered here. They couldn't get it if they throw. That's the end of the first quarter, though. Seven to nothing after one. And now they are gonna kick the field goal. Okay. Oh my gosh, it was almost blocked. And good. And Up and good, 7-3 to three from MetLife after we just nearly blocked that. Alright, we're going to get the ball back here. Back and away from MetLife. Able to break that goose egg that and that is what's going to get the offense back out onto the field. And, um, it's going to score. Uh-oh, Houston. With Kevin Bird at quarterback looking to win their first game in, like, two years. As Saquon Barkley gets a great run. I thought I was going to say Saquon Barkley. I was about to get mad. It was a great run from Saquon there. I'll throw it. He's nowhere near him. Oh my gosh. Another just big gain. Boy, a pair of big plays here. This one going for 29. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time. Saquon's going to get blocked. He needs it. I accidentally ran out of bounds. No. All right. I see you, though, Saquon. Good games here. And all oh, sort of dang it! Like try Tried to the get that to Daniel Bellinger would have been his first and only touchdown goal. of the season, most likely. Um, Throwing Mayfield. Oh my gosh! Pressure coming there. We had to get rid of it. It is hard to He's punching him with Saquon here. Here we go, third and goal, a snap. Saquon punches it in for six. And it's a giant touchdown. That first drive was a little rocky for Saquon, but 
you know, came out the second drive and just just dominated. Up and good from Tucker. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. And the rookie quarterback Colton Snell in his debut gets ready to lead his, his Cowgirls team back out onto the field after a good goal in the last drive. Here we go, back and away. That might be returnable. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped gets right it out to the 24, and we're going to see Snell take the field for the second time today. Let's get some uh, sacks in this drive. You know, losses, losses of yardage. Not, that, that is not a loss of yardage. Snell, 3 for 3, 30 yards to start it off. 10 yards of throw is what he's adding. I like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a good division tight end game. motion. Second that is an offense blind in the tight end. If you just have but he's at the tight end spot. The oh, my gosh. We got to stop, Zeke. Alonzo Ramsey just gave me a one-man wrecking crew. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV Three tackles. game to sell right out of the gate. I'm gonna go back to Zeke and, and just continue to get yardage. Thank you, Adori. Somebody's gonna stop him. That's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. Oh no! Juju Smith Schuster, are you kidding me? It was a nice job getting a tackle there, but still. We can't let that happen. The first red zone opportunity of the new year here as they come up now first and ten. The throw that's batted down. Nice defense from Blake Martinez. Brings up second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. There we go. CD gonna be put into motion here. And of course they're just gonna keep these yardage. Third and six. Let's hold them another field goal. Come on. Four yards the game. Watch the throw here. We've got a 14 minute three ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Here's a snap. Gonna throw snap. that is caught. And they will lose a yardage on the play. And that'll be another field goal for the Cowgirls. Clock ticking. There we go. It's up. It's good. 14 to 6 now. So the three points there and CD helps him inch back here. Closer. Dallas, two field goals and two drives. We got a minute 16 to do something. Uh, and we will take the ball to the 25. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. Here we go. Passing game. They've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about oh it? Oh my gosh. We, got... <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this why, one is why, they realized why? that they that was a horrible. the ball just, well. just let them right through. Key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least oh my gosh. Are we, are we really going to? Let's please just like not do this today. And it's gonna bring up a third let's down. block. We have two superstar abilities on the offensive line. Oh, that's a pick. Gosh. It's a horrible drive. Yeah, we're gonna punt. That, that drive was, was just embarrassing. Tressway gonna get us back going in this one. Pretty good punt. Got him down to 36. So, 38 seconds left. 
About set for this next drive by Dallas the Cowboys getting the ball offense. back all three time now. Starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket. No reason. What was that? Oh my gosh. They've been playing sound fundamental defense thus far and able to keep this offense from creating a major dent on the scoreboard. Able to force the incompletion but still waiting for that game changing play. Another incompletion, third and ten. In a sense, oh, we might get the ball back. Right now. The new school defense is what you said, taking the ball away. To throw on third down. Don't let him get it. Yeah, it's gonna get it. Call timeout. The Giants gonna go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Give him the ball back. So on fourth down, Let's here's go. the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Waiting on it will be Richie James. Well, I might be able to get a return here. Right, never mind. All right, we got 20 seconds, two timeouts. It's plenty of time. So, you know, let's actually maybe make some completions here. Amon Ross St. Brown. First reception as the Giant gets down out, out of bounds. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. Mayfield on first down. Going to go ahead and drop back. He out of bounds again. Let's go. Got like one he play left in the tank. He's out of bounds. Now this offense in mid-season form here in the opener. It's first and ten. Baker's going to go in now on this drive. We are going to launch this one. Oh, if he caught that, we got one second on the clock. Alright, we could maybe get lucky here. Something on like a slant. Philly looks like they're gonna be the only competitive team again in the division. Why did you stop? Why did you stop, idiot? Of course, Trayvon Diggs is the one who gets the interception to the cycle. Of course. I don't know why the freak he stopped. He's like, just stop running. All right, got to get it back underway here, Justin Tucker. Factors, we are back underway in the second half. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25 yard line as he's dropped at the 23. It's ridiculous. About set for this All right, come on. By the Cowboys offense. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense Make another made stop the here. Really the fake the handoff to Zeke. Oh, my gosh. In the ground attack so certainly something has to change here. Come on. And I'm pretty sure their friends from Gotta the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. This tackle there from Xavier McKinney. They've got to re energize the ground four. game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Dalton, not, not, <laughs> I just remember when Andy Dalton was on the Cowboys and he was 14. I, I, I was. Andy Dalton. Face mask. And of course, it's on us. Who was it? Xavier McKinney. So it was already a gain on the completion, but Dallas might be able to get penalty. back into it on this no what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't Colton the Snow under center the with the snap. Gonna, gonna hand it off to Zeke. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Here we go, second and five. There's the snap. The drop Snell back throws. Dallas looking for six on this drive. No more, no more field goals. On first down, Snell. And that was a horrible throw. Come on, let's get back there. Lineman in motion here. 
up the middle. Here's Elliott. Nice stop. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. More of that today, gosh. Officially nothing on that one. No gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because... There we go. That pressure coming. There we go. Fourth and 22. Kayvon Thibodeau. Now we just made that field go a lot harder. There's a chance this stays a four game. And no, it'll move to a 14-9 game. Three drives for Dallas. Three field goals for Dallas. All they've been able to do in this one. The deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get Back the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense. All right, now. let's go ahead and yeah, extend this lead here. That'd lead. be great. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. That would be nice if we could block. That's something Here's we would Mayfield. not have today. Oh my gosh. Yep. It'd be nice if we could have a little more time in the backfield. Gosh darn it. Baker's, Baker's not that slow. Why is he so slow? Baker Mayfield is, is a lot quicker than that. Who is out here? Oh, Van Jefferson. Oh, like, who is that? I, I forgot who Van Jefferson. Oh my gosh. Slings this deep from McLaurin. Thank you. Thank you. We finally <laughs> fall down in the end zone. An 80 yard touchdown. And the Giants are able to strike quickly to add on to their There we go. Baker Mayfield to Terry McLaurin for a big big touchdown there. I think it was like a what 80 yard touchdown. Up and good for Graham Gannell, or Justin Tucker. I'm so used to Graham Gannell. Justin Tucker. And uh, it is now 21 to 9. At this rate, Dallas is looking for a fourth field goal. That'll be me in the end zone. Here we go. This one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. Uh, that's still when we did those last few plays. Um, that last defensive drive with the sack with Kayvon Thibodeau. Pressure coming. Great incompletion right there. Good job forcing it now. We got an X factor. And there's another good pass breakup. Almost caught it. Uh, let's do it one more time. Let's hold him to a punt. Here we go. Snap from Snell. Get a throw. We can't leave guys that open. We have the whole freaking team trying to freaking bring him down. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Tenth carry now for Are they going to run it here? That was not that good of a run. Only one yard. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. Second and nine for Snell and the Cowgirls. Here's the throw. That is incomplete. Almost. Blair Williams almost got an interception. Wow. If he scooped that up, he would have had an interception. Yeah, Philly's going to win that one. Another two, just a two-team division once again. Stopping shy of the first down marker. And it is fourth and three. comes the Cowboys punter. As he'll punt it away for the second time. And that one, oh my gosh, that was not that good of a punt. And it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember the offense scored a Oh my gosh, Saquon, please. What a run. Saquon Barkley, what a freaking run. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. 
Just broke away there. And they both have specific outcomes. An amazing run. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here we go, Baker with the snap. Gotta roll out. Nobody's there. Running out of bounds. Inside the 30. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I like his thought process and his ability to move and get downfield. But what I didn't like was the final decision to go out of bounds. They want to keep the clock moving. That's a chef. There's a flag the down. Probably going to be on us. And he'll be brought down at about the 23 yard line. And hold him. Who was it? Mark Nowitzki. The dude that probably gets the most penalties called for us. probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because that could be the make or break Oh no. Yeah, that was a stupid pass decision. We have not thrown the ball well, like at all. This offense so far on the game was not not good thus far. This will be third and fifteen. I mean, I'm in, oh my gosh, he caught it. A lot of aggressive passing decisions. I will, I will say that. But, you know, still, I feel like some, some, you know, just, there's some things that probably should have resulted in touchdowns, or not touchdowns, uh, completions. It's, we can't just, we can't just get away from the 50% mark. Baker is actually looking like how he did in real life uh, earlier this year. <laughs> there we go, Dennis Porter in for six. Second year tight end from Oklahoma. Tucker up, Tucker, good. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that will make this a 19 point game. Tucker now to kick There we go, get it back in her way. That's not returnable. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Oh, uh, Houston, they're down seven. It has been two years since the last time the Texans won a football game. On, on like the pretty much two year anniversary, can they can they get it done or are they gonna lose? Looking to throw. Snell, and he'll go right back to Lamb. Third and inch. And they are going one man in the backfield. They are throwing it. That's why Dallas sucks. <laughs> they get it though. 28 to 9. Coming down to that three minute mark here in MetLife. There's a snap. Gets hit. Got it there. First down. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. So the drive takes him into yeah, Giants and territory and now. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. Again, he'll drop to throw. Let's get back there. Nobody's freaking getting back there on the line. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. That's the two minute Just warning. Snell picked off. Stefan Gilmore, and he's going to go all the way. 20, 10, and he will bring it back. Two minute warning hits. Stefan Gilmore pick six. Tucker now for the extra point. And there's an injury. <laughs> Justin Tucker, that's up and good. 35 to 9. Pick to six from Stephon Gilmore. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way and into the end zone. And then we're back the in the way. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. 
So now Colton Snell throws his first career interception. It happens to be a pick six brought down by Alonzo Ramsey. He's got himself quite a few tackles. How many does he have? Six tackles. My goodness. The interception make that an amazing game. Oh. Would have been a great stop there. Third and two. Timeout from Dallas. As it'll come with an even 90 seconds remaining on the clock. Five in the here secondary now for the Giants here on third. Yep, Philly just extending their lead. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Oh, he might go back. Take it back. Snell makes up for it with the tackle, but two picks right there at the end of the game. Or near the end of the game. What lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted, but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball, Saquon, nice them, run. Don't react it's at least the second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball and be decisive with it. Otherwise, the end result can be something you don't like. Second down, here's Barkley again. Again, Saquon and he'll be brought down here at the gets the first. Line. 95 yards rushing for him now here in week one. A very solid start to this new campaign. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist snap. first and goal. A roll out. Got somebody there. Hey, Dennis Porter, two touchdowns in this one. And the blowout continues. Well, Charles, no matter what the prognosticators say before the season, whether they think you're going to be good, bad, or somewhere in the middle, that is up and good. From Justin Tucker, 42 to 9. But for them, it has been an impressive performance, and they are well on their way to a 1 0 start. Yeah, it's a lot like opening up presents, isn't it, partner? You're not quite sure. Stephon Gilmore got two picks on the day. In this case, two drives in a row. Exactly what they were looking for, exactly what they need. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They are just obviously... Wow, Seattle and Atlanta tie. Interesting. If you're a coach for this oh, my gosh. Game like this. For a lot of coaches, Clock still ticking. Xavier McKinney with the tackle there. Don't forget what has happened out Colton here. Snell not going to throw a career touchdown number one in this one. Throws his first two career picks almost through another one right there. And never forget it because you're not 34. Oh my gosh, Washington came back. He's going to throw almost through one last uh, pick right there. Washington came back. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I saw that. I was like, I, where, they were losing, right? I'm going to call a fair catch. I want to throw it more. <laughs> I need to get that, that pass percentage up. How did, how did Washington come back? I'm going to St. Brown. No, he freaking drops it on the last play of the game. Well, we didn't turn the ball that great. I mean, he still had four touchdowns. That's not bad. Well, that was that was a fun one. Uh, we killed those first three drives. They put three chip shots in, and then, well, there was that one. It was kind of long. But after that, Dallas did nothing. Um... Stephon Gilmore ends up with two interceptions, one of those being a pick six. And that'll do it as we head off into the locker room, beating him in every stat. Rushing yards, passing yards, average yards per play, more takeaways, and, of course, a higher score. Well, uh, that's going to do this one, guys. Uh, really hope you guys enjoyed, and, uh, you know, see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.